I almost was going to call it call it quits and say, you know, Haha, see you next time, guys, because I got to a nice save point and it felt pretty good. But, like, it feels like we're at the end. I don't know. Like, it, it feels like it's in, like, a place called nowhere. It legitimately, legitimately feels like we're at, like the cusp like getting towards the end so i've got a feeling uh if it's not the end it'll just be another long episode but i've got a feeling i have a feeling so we're gonna go down to find the sound in the basement i guess oh wow that's a really good camera angle i loved that oh that's so good i'm being summoned what happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Interesting. Michelle. So it's like this a situation where we're not really in the hospital, I don't think, because this is what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking earlier, is when we had like these moments of like passing out or whatever, when we just end up in this hospital section talking to Lisa, that it just didn't feel like it was in the hospital because then we'd pass or pass out or wake up again and then we'd be here. So this is called nowhere. But then <laughs> The word Ophiel is carved on the door. Are there carvings on every door? Faleg is carved on the door. Oh wow. Okay, what's going on here? Alright, we've got some items to stock up on, which is good. Um, okay, so we're back in the hospital again. Where So the hospital seems to be almost sort of like the, the main sort of um, conflict. Not sort of conflict, but sort of the focal point of this first game where a lot of things are going on. And I feel like it has to do with, um, with a lesser. Very clearly a lesser. Um, that's kind of obvious. But I mean, like... I'm very interesting to see what's going to happen because it looks like that was almost sort of like a um, like a ghostly image of her when she was younger. So like almost like we're just seeing like visions of the past. The hands of the clock. It's a key. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. Can I just smash it? Oh, well, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> why are you not going to let me... Why are you not going to let me just smash it open instead? Alright, I guess we have to... Figure that out another way. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're back to hellish... Nurses again. But this time I can use the hammer. And actually do a good job of killing him. Um. Hold on, hold on a second. Right, hold on a hold on a second. I thought so. Like I didn't really make the connection. This is not in the hospital. This is um because there's supposed to be a hole in the wall here, right? I love that it says, just a wall. This is the antique shop. Oh, dude. Okay, interesting. But how do I get this? So it's not just the hospital. It's multiple places. 
Oh, God. Okay. There's a key in the faucet, but I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. Alright, there's some stuff that I've got to figure out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Let's push on. Bird cage is locked, and there's another key in there too, and then bird noises. I hate that. Can you not make bird noises when there's no bird in there? Alright. Okay, now we're in the classroom. But it's not like the it's not like the nightmare versions of these places. It's like the normal versions of these places. You know what I mean? Go home. Thief. Drop dead. There's a screwdriver, take it. There are pliers, take them. Okay, well I have a feeling I know what at least the pliers are going to be for. for um, this door, I think. Okay, let's pull this key out, right? And I'm going to use it to make the water run. Okay. Interesting. Key of Ophiel. Take it. Okay. So these are the keys for those doors. All right. So now I guess I'll use the screwdriver on the bird cage to get the key out. Will that work? Oh, no. Wait. Hold on. Actually... Um, screwdriver on the, the clock in the antique shop, I think. Damn it. I thought I was being clever. Uh, a square hole. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. Duh. I have to break the glass. Alright, so what's the OVL one? It's not that one. Alright, well it's this one. So I guess we'll we'll unlock this door and then we'll see what's going on. What is behind this door? Ah, it takes us here and we've got Grim Reaper's list again which was unresolved from last time. What is this? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's a slate. Yes, yeah, so this is still the Grim Reaper's list. That's the door we came from. That's jammed. Oh man, I'm just guessing. I don't like it. What is happening here?
What the fuck? Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What is happening, dude? Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot happening here. Let me see if I can make a... Make a note of what I can interact with and what I can't interact with. Ooh, this isn't blank anymore. Names engraved on a lithograph. The Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set. Young and old lined up in order of age. Ah, so it was age. Then the pathway opens awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. It's not really... You're kidding me. <laughs> well, it was like they had it organized by age, so I had to look and it was funny because I looked at them and I read the letters at the beginning and I went, oh, it looks like it spells alter. So, you know, uh, but like, but then I was like, no, it doesn't because E is not in the word alter. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I'll have a look and see what I can organize and then if it's supposed to be organized by age i was like well i'll have a look at each one so 18a 35l etc etc and it spells out alert and i was like the thing right next to it <laughs> has a thing that you can do a word that's ridiculous a lot of the times when I t try stupid stuff, it does not work, but apparently that worked. <laughs> I feel like I'm going too far because there's that whole room with the weird uh, symbols that I haven't even looked at. <laughs> Don't feel like checking this out. Fair enough. What is this? Amulet of Solomon. Um, okay. What do I do with it, though? Harry? Oh, what? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive, even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. The same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Hey, 
Holy fuck. Oh no, do I have to fight Lisa now? Oh my god. Tragic. Lisa. Oh my god, I can go back in! <laughs> Alright, that's weird. There's a book here. There is a diary on the floor. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad. Need to throw up, but nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. This music is so good. Lisa, it feels a little feels a little tragic. Like she didn't realize until the end that she's the same as them, but wasn't sort of aware of it. need to figure out what any of any of this means in terms of the imagery I'm just trying to think the imagery looks very astrology to me it looks like the zodiac but I don't know what the numbers mean. Zero, two, ten. And four. Zero, two, four, and ten. Do I have to input that? I can't, because there's a ten. Um... Do I have to guess the number that this one is? Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's there uh, on each side. What does pressing a button do? Okay, so you can only press... So you can only press one. Um, zero, two, four, and ten. Does it have anything to do with... No. I'm trying to find the, um, trying to find the connection between them all. Let me look up something to do with the, the Zodiac. Um, let me have a look. Let me search the Zodiac. Mm. So it looks like these four have predetermined numbers and then these ones are ones that you can just pick a number four. I don't know. Zero, two, four, and then ten. Should I? They look to be in there. They're in like 
even numbers, like zero, two, four, but then there's like six and eight and there isn't another one after that. Should this one be six? Should this one be eight? And then what should this one be? <laughs> um, any of them? <laughs> nah, that doesn't do anything. Um, I have no clue. This is like, it's just one where you're just presented with images and you just need to know about it, I guess. Actually, hold on a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That image there is the same as this image here. And that's a number four. Yeah, that is the same image. But then I think this image is different. Yeah, this one isn't on there. Why is one of why is one of the images the same? That's I don't feel clever. I just feel like I pressed random buttons. <laughs> There is a stone of time. Take it. Cool. Um, okay. I think the only reason I was able to even get close is because that symbol and that symbol is the same. And I was overthinking it when all I could do is just press random buttons instead. I love that for me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Fucking rude. Oh. Jesus. All right, so I've got the Stone of Time now. What do I have to do with the Stone of Time? Stone of Time and um, I've got Solomon's Seal. Hang on a minute. Oh, oh they're not dead. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what's happening? The stone of time. Does that have anything to do with the clock? There's gonna be this is gonna be hilarious if it's literally just something if it's literally just something to um like um I'm just gonna use the stone of time to just smash the glass. You get like this intricate intricately named item and it's to smash the glass. Clock face design on a pillar with astrology chart. Well, I can't use it. Maybe I wasn't facing it. Yeah, I wasn't facing it. Well, I can close off my zodiac research now. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Literally, like, explodes. Key of Haggith. That's not this door, so that's, uh... Ooh, we've got to find another door. Um, there was none on that way. Oh, true. Lemaire. <laughs> I'd never even tried this door before. All right, so we've got access to the elevator. Where do we go? Okay, I got a couple of couple of nurses here. Oh, okay, that's why it's not working. Come on then. Face me, coward. Nice. Where's the other one? Come here, you. Come on. Nice. Alright. Alright, let's figure out where I am. We'll start from the entrance. 
where there's a door here. And we've got some jammed doors so far, which is always, always nice. Less places to go. All right, we've got this door here. Oh! This is, um, this is in the, the, the Silent Hill town center thing. The Crest of Mercury. We're getting very zodiacy and astrology like a ring of contract. Oh, I hate this sound. All right, so we're not going outside though. So we just we've got a ring of contract. Something Mercury, Solomon seal. All right. Interesting. Uh, I've got three doors left. Two doors left. One door left. Come on then. Nice. I love this hammer. Come on then. Oh my god, there's two of them. I swear I hit her before she grabbed onto me. Alright, same plane as before. Work our way through each door that we can, in order. So that's jammed. That's jammed. It's unlocked. Okay, that's this door, okay. Ooh! But it took me... It's, that takes me to a different floor. That's interesting. That's jammed. I'm in such a weird mental state right now. <laughs> Everything's just so crazy. I just don't even know what to focus on. There's a camera. That's interesting. have a look at the camera camera with flash cool well I feel like I'm gonna have to obviously use the flash option on that camera at some point um, all right this door is jammed um, this door all right where are we uh, this is the steel plate the steel plate finally <laughs> We're going to be able to do something with it. A steel plate, which is screwed to the wall. Okay, now I just literally have to lit look at all the things that I have. I feel like it's going to be one of these, right? Nope. 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 No. Oh, ah, oh, it's screwed to the wall. Obviously. That's electrified. Electricity is flowing to the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. I can hear a ge oh, I can hear a generator. That sounds like a generator to me. Okay. I have to find my way to a generator. I haven't come across a generator so far in this part of the game. Hmm. Um, well shit. Um, I've got to turn a generator off so I can get to that key. Um, can I use the elevator? The elevator's not going to take me down to the basement though. The generator's getting louder. Would there be a generator on the third floor? Oh god. 
It's the altar again. Looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. The light illuminating the darkness. The light to the future. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, um. Ooh, hang on. Camera flash. Because it's talking about like light, right? Hold on. Yeah. The fuck is. What does that mean? <laughs> What does that mean? Alright, let me flash the other one. Oh, if I press B, it cancels it. I'm just trying to think about what they could mean. Based on um, what the symbols are. Well, it's not that. Okay. I need to be smarter than this. What could it mean? What does it mean? I feel like with these, with uh, the riddles in this part of the game, I'm just making it up. Like, I'm just making guesses. <laughs> Being like, ah, oh, well, I guess it could be this. Like, is it the amount of sides that it has, or the amount of edges that the symbols have? Like, that's got three edges, that one's got... Oh man, I don't know. How many points it has? Because one... Oh, dude... Oh, I can make... Okay, hold on, that's entirely different. Okay, I can do multiple... Okay, maybe I just have to map out the... The shapes. Like, that makes that shape... Fuck, now I'm gonna have to remember, because as soon as I press B, it cancels it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, give me a second. I'm gonna take a photo of it, and then I'm gonna repeat them. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. Let's recreate this shape. Did that recreate it? I think so. Not really. Oh, maybe it needs to be in smaller scale. Let's just. Trial and error, right? And then this one here, which is making an arrow. Okay, it works. So we have to... We have to draw the shapes on it. That makes sense. This is just a lot. <laughs> this is just a lot of information. Oh, we've got the birdcage key though. Amazing. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now let's remember what 
this, these symbols are. Now we've got to draw. Okay, so I've got to do this one here, like this. This one is a straight up plus. And this one is like this. Cool. Now what's in here? There, there's a place mark in the book, White Claudia. Perennial herb found near water reaches height of 10 to 15 inches, oblong leaves, white blossoms. Seeds contain hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucinogenic effect was key. Okay. All right then. Same thing. Investigation stalled. PTV dealer still at large. Are there others? It's pretty old. Fire broke out in town. Six homes destroyed. Charred body of a lesser Gillespie. Seven found in aftermath. A lesser died. Cause of fire currently under investigation. Investigation so source as basement of Gillespie home blaze now believed caused by malfunction of antiquated boiler. The date of the blaze. It's the same day we found Cheryl. The same day we found Cheryl. What? Hang on a minute. The same day we found Cheryl. Cheryl not like the biological daughter? Is that what that is about? Like was she was Cheryl ad adopted? And it, she was adopted on the same day that this fire took place burning Alessa Gillespie alive? Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to the birdcage. Very, very interesting. Okay. I have a feeling that if we get to this generator, the elevator's not going to work anymore, which is a good thing why we have the... Um, it's a good thing we've got the door that can take us from the first to the second floor. I have a feeling that's the entire reason <laughs> that door even exists. Now, which one is the birdcage? This one here? Key of Faleg. Take it. Alright, yes. So now I can open this door. You know what, I might just save it here, because I've been doing a lot so far. Just give me a second. <laughs> just going to chuck a quick save in here. Okay, let's get out of here. being attacked by the ghost babies oh my god I can kill the ghost babies whoa 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 hold on a minute this is new the ghost babies are attacking me dude what in the goddamn
What is this? The chain is missing a link. There is a dagger of Melchior. Got a goddamn sword, man. So I need to use some sort of uh, chain thing to open. No! Did I just die? <laughs> what? I just died? What does that mean? Oh my god, I'm so glad that I saved. Holy shit. Oh my god. What does that what does that mean though? Does that mean I should just not go in that room until I get a chain link so I can chain up that that fridge? And then I can freely take the dagger out. Okay, well, we're gonna avoid that room then. Oh my god, where's this baby? No! Oh my god, that's not a baby! It's like a child. A smaller child. I swear the, um... I swear the babies were smaller than this. Okay, now which room did I go in? I went in that one on the right. So we'll just avoid that room. Um, Key of Bethor is needed for that door. Take it. Can we read the world? The floors and walls are covered with graffiti. Ew. No, thank you. Let's leave. I have so many items right now, dude. I have so many items. drink. Alright, we've got the TV again. If we if we're allowed to go into this room, I feel like we're here for a reason. Should we watch the videotape again? Will it be the same? Is the videotape going to be... What is it? Ooh! Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Ah, uh, Alyssa. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. I promise. So please. That was Lisa, right? Wow. So Alessa is just like was remaining alive for some reason. And then Lisa Okay. Hmm, <sighs> interesting. Okay, we were just in here. Okay. 
we got going on in here? Another weird room. Specimens of butterflies and moths hanging around everywhere. Uh, we've got a save point, so I'm going to save. <laughs> we're in child's room, so I'm assuming we're in Alessa's room, obviously. It's locked. Ah, thou possess them to guard thy spirit. Evoke five rites, unveil thy fate. Um, so I've got the Seal of Solomon, the thing, the Mercury, the daggers, then the thing, the Ankh. What's that other one? Do I have that as well? Oh, that's the, the ring, right? The ring of contract. Um, okay. All I need is, yeah, but how am I going to seal that fridge? Maybe there's something that I'm missing. Maybe I just need to get it and run. And I wasn't quick enough and I died. Well, I've just saved it. So let's go have a look, right? Because I don't have any of those yet. Okay. Hmm. I don't think that there's anything that I have that can, like, seal a door or anything. So we're just going to have to go for it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about this thing right here? Give me the soup ladle. Okay, I thought I was being clever. I can't pick it up. Um, hmm. Is there anything in here that I can use to, like, block the door? It doesn't look like it. Won't let me pick up that. Okay. Take, take it and run. The chain is missing a link. There's a dagger. Take it. Run! Hmm. Maybe have to walk out? I don't know. It makes me feel like when I was looking at that door, it makes me feel like the that one of the items, like it, the circle was too big for just a ring. Can I use a ring as like the chain link? Oh my god, I can. Amazing. Used the ring of contract. Where that was not supposed to look like that, I don't think. <laughs> there you go, it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> the chain is fixed with the ring. There is a dagger. Alright, I can now take the dagger and I will survive. Ha! You can't get out. All right, uh, we've got a dagger. But now I'm still missing an item. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Jelly beans, do you want to open the bag? This is where the blood pack was before in the original, I think. In the original hospital. <laughs> All of the fucking jelly beans just gone. Oh my god, cool. Key of Bethor, so we can open up one of the doors. Wonderful. Uh, which door was it? I believe it was the first one. Yeah, cool. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Alright, we can turn the generator off. Awesome. But now I have to go... I think that's going to turn off the elevator, right? 
And now I'm going to have to... Yeah, the other... Okay. Um, damn it. Which room was that in? Which room was the steel plate in? Oh, God. Where are you? Oh, shit. These demon children, man. Oh, my God. No! They're like genuinely evil now. Is it in one of these rooms? Because there's enemies again. <laughs> oh my god, it's this room, isn't it? Yes, cool. Alright, give me this key. Key of Aratron. Okay. Perfect. Um, just what I needed. Um, so now I have to go back that way again. Again, this door. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Please get away from me. Jesus, how much do they hurt me? A little bit. Which way do I go from here again? I already forgot which way that I came from. Which is very, very smart. Um, what was it? I have a f no, hang on, it was this door, wasn't it? Yeah, it was this one. Yes, okay. Um, key of Aratron. So, in here, use the key of Aratron. Everything is going according to plan. Sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. What? And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. That's what's keeping her alive. Are you, are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear, the promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. So essentially, Dahlia is an evil asshole. And there she is, Alessa. Disc of Ouroboros. Now that looks like what's supposed to go into the door. What a terrible room. Ugh, the sounds. All right, we have our five items. And now we can go through the door. I don't even know what I'm what I'm going to be getting myself into. But I've got enough bullets to <laughs> I've got enough handgun bullets to at least equip that. <laughs> All right, I guess we use the items now and let's go through. This looks like it's one of those things where it's like you need like all of these items in order to go through to like the final area. So I have a feeling this is what we're ready for. <laughs> all right, let's put this. Let's put. Let's put all the slots in. Get them filled up. Oh, 
God damn. <laughs> And now, the dagger. In we go. Come, come along. No. No, I don't want to. Do what mommy tells you now. Just want you to want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good too. Oh, but mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? The fuck? This poor girl, dude. The lock is jammed. The lock is jammed. We going downstairs. Dahlia. What the fuck? Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. What do you mean? You helped me. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. Uh, no mood for jokes. The other half of the soul. Don't you see? She's right. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long Yeah, time. oh my god. For the seven years since that <laughs> terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive Suffering a fate worse than death. Waiting for Cheryl. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare. Waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. My daughter will be the mother of... What? So I can keep selling my drugs. Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. What? I won't get away with this. 
your role is over. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you've accomplished by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this in here. I thought I got rid of that. Ah. I had to do what's planted somewhere for you to find. You all could have kept it busy. Ha! You're easy. And there's more where this came from. Stop it! So this is what I took out of the motorcycle. Oh, and she thought she destroyed it, the one in the hospital. Give me a give me a hot second here, right? Give me a hot second. So it took seven years because they were talking about the other half of the soul and how it's going to take time. And then she said something about her womb, like so. Was Cheryl is Cheryl like another daughter of Dahlia's? And then Harry, I guess at some point found. Cheryl and adopted her and then and then brought Cheryl to Silent Hill probably because he was being summoned or he felt called to Silent Hill and then Cheryl went straight back to Alessa and they became one I th I'm assuming this is how this is this is how it's supposed to play out and now I have to fight whatever the this is. Oh my god, he sh literally shoots lightning. Holy shit. How much damage does that do? Oh god. Let's take no chances. Am I doing damage? I am. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, hold on a second. That's not that's not going very well. I don't know how to avoid that. Oh shit. Oh man. I Oh. Okay, that's tough. Um I don't know how to avoid that. I love that it gives me a tip right at the end of the game telling me how to switch enemy targets. Too little too late game. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> God damn it. I just got straight up like... Okay, that's, that's tough. I don't know how to avoid... I don't know how to avoid it. Oh god, how do we... If 
Do I, do I just run like this? Oh my god, it's actually working. I think that worked. Alright, cool. Uh, oh no, I got hit. Oh god, hold on, hold on. Alright, hold on. I think I've got some sort of strategy. And the strategy is run mindlessly in circles. Run, run, run. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, God. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> maybe the strategy does not work after all. Right, hold on a sec. I hate this, this sound effect. It's awful. Oh, my God. There we go. We got it. I'm just gonna stand there? Oh my god. Come on, buddy. Keep. Did I get him? Jesus Christ. Glad I saved all my hunting rifle bullets, Jesus. <laughs> Daddy. What? What the fuck? This some crazy religion. This some crazy religion shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Alessa just birthed a baby with her dying breath, gave it to Harry, and then said, here's your way into the light. And Kaufman is like, my drug empire. Does he get to make it out? What in the goddamn? Laura? I mean, Lisa? Ooh, uh, mm. Okay, he doesn't make it out. <laughs> because Lisa just pops up out of nowhere. And it's over! Oh my god. What? <laughs> um. Wow. Imagine playing this game and finishing it and being like, wow, holy shit. I wonder if there's gonna be a sequel. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. And they get Silent Hill 2, and it has nothing to do with this. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, I wonder what happens to Harry and the baby. And then you play Silent Hill 2 and it's James showing up in a bathroom. Going to Silent Hill. Damn, dude, that's crazy. I have those two people to blame for my horrible experiences with monsters. 
That's very, very interesting and also bizarre at the same time. Um, it definitely explained a couple of things uh, in terms of the, the alternate realities. It had more of like a reason why the town was going in like the weird darkness nightmare modes because it had, um, you know, it had, um, what is it? Um, what am I, what am I looking for here? Um, I had like the Samael stuff and like those seals and what's actually happening. Um, I just turned down the volume just in case this is going to get copyrighted <laughs> while we have a chat about the game. Um, I'm glad that I played this one and that I finished it because I'm curious to see how it plays into Silent Hill 3. Um, I'm definitely curious to see how it will continue. Because, yeah, I guess obviously people would, would have been expecting um, Silent Hill 2. Yeah, look, Alessa Cheryl, same voice actor. God damn it, dude. Um, people would be expecting Silent Hill 2 to take on from that when this came out back in the day. Well, that's it. That's, that's Silent Hill. Super interesting, super interesting. Um, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't amazing, <laughs> you know? Um, I can see why people wanted me to play Silent Hill 3 and go into that. Hmm. That doesn't resolve anything. Lisa Garland. What is this? What is this ending credits, dude? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this as an as a ending credits? What is this? It feels like weird CG bloopers. <laughs> Why does it feel like they just animated the characters like bloopers? I'm so, I'm so confused about that ending. What does that even mean? <laughs> um, I can see why people wanted me to play Silent Hill Three because it was it's obviously more uh, more modern than than this. I wanted to play it for more of the story stuff, but. Um, in terms of gameplay, I struggled a lot, especially in the beginning, uh, but I definitely got a hang of it later. But I also felt like I was able to just run through a lot of stuff towards the end, and I could have done that in the beginning as well. Um, yeah. Um, there you go. That's, that's Silent Hill 1. Um, I liked that I played it, and I liked that it's that it's over. <laughs> I'm excited to get into Silent Hill 3 and see how it all sort of comes together. But um, yeah, definitely prefer Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 had so much more of an effect on me. Uh, like, I was emotional at the end of the game, especially with how that letter is read by, um, by Mary, you know? But... Um, it's alright. 
It's, it's, it's definitely for its time. It's definitely a PS1 game. I, I struggled more with the gameplay more than anything. Um, and it had an interesting approach to the story. But there you go. I ended up defeating more enemies with melee over shooting in the end. <laughs> Six hours, 23 minutes, died seven times, saved 42 times. And it, it literally says ending, good. I got the good ending. Is the good ending when they're all just like... <laughs> That's so weird to me. So weird to me, dude. That's my game result, everybody. Next game mode, hard. Wonderful. Well, I'm just going to... I'll just save it and a new one. Next fear. Interesting. Cool. Um, so that's Silent Hill 1. I'm a bit, a bit scattered and all over the place because it was kind of... Um, kind of a lot. <laughs> it was definitely a lot to, lot to take in. Oh no, it makes so much sense because they found the baby right there. Oh my god. Damn, so right in the right in the beginning, um, it actually shows such a connection <laughs> between Cheryl and Alessa. That's crazy. Uh, not only does it show like such a such a connection, but like it actually shows them finding the baby. And now Harry, uh, Harry gets to have um, um, Harry gets to have the um, daughter again from from baby. He gets full Cheryl baby. I guess, and gets to go through all of that parentage again. So weird, so weird. Um, I don't have, I don't have much to talk about <laughs> after this one compared to how I felt about Silent Hill Two. Um, but that's mainly because I know that this is going to lead more into Silent Hill Three. So I'm keen to see how it all comes together there. All in all, like. It's a good experience. I mainly struggled with, yeah, the, the actual gameplay aspect, which uh, frustrated me a lot and had some bad luck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's uh, that was Silent Hill 1. So thank you guys for watching this this playthrough. I've had quite a few of you now uh, picking up and watching all the way through of both Silent Hill 2 and now Silent Hill 1. So I hope this was enjoyable for you. Uh, I've essentially, as you can tell, I've just played through the, the last few parts of the, of the game all in one go. So information overload, <laughs> very, very scattered at the moment, but I will definitely be picking up Silent Hill 3 soon. I'm going to also be looking into playing more of the, of what I'm currently playing, which is Resident Evil 2. Um, hopefully have some more Last of Us up, uh, maybe something else along the way as well. If I decide to take a break, from Silent Hill or whether I just decide to just go straight into it again and keep going. So thank you guys for watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Um.